Hello everyone, MT Off-Road here. Hey, on another little adventure today for the Project Free Runner. Um, them little Toyotas are getting kind of hard to come buy parts for, but I found a parts truck down in Wyoming. So now I'm gonna be, we're heading down to Wyoming, pick up this parts truck. Got the, got the dogs with me, got Bella and say hi Buster. Hi Buster. So all right, we're gonna top off here at the fuel station. We got the old Superbourbon heading down to Wyoming to pick up another Toyota for the Free Runner. Let's go check this thing out. Pulling up to the shop here, pick up this Toyota. Man, I love coming down here. There it is back there. We'll just drive out there. Oh, Buster, you want to get out, don't you? Alright, super excited. I got the 84 pickup on the trailer back there. Can't wait to get it home. Start pulling some parts off of this. We'll do a walk around when we get home and uh, see what I got in this pile of parts. See you at the house. Alright, I am back home. It is the next day. It took a little longer than expected because I ended up making two trips down to Wyoming. Because why just pick up one truck? when you can pick up another. So only room for one on the trailer, so <laughs> one at a time. It took me all day to go down there twice and back. But let's check out both these trucks for us. All right, this one here is a 1984 regular cab short box four wheel drive. Solid axle, had a 22R, still got the five speed and the transfer case in it. Lots of good parts for the, for the free runner. I mean, bodies, yeah, it's okay. Let's see, running 31s. Still got the tranny in it and transfer case. Drive shafts, front axle. That front axle swap's going to go in the 86. Got some 31s on there. That door's missing. It's on the other truck here. But this was a, whether it's SR5 or... DLX, not quite sure. Got the cool old school chrome roll bar. Um, came with uh, came with all the the factory owners manuals, everything, service manuals, records. Just really cool. Typical busted up dash, dirty as heck, straight off the farm, you know. Got the SR5 dash with the tack. Might swap that into the 86. Got a good console. Latch actually still latches. Nothing's broke. You know, cracked up here, of course, but that's all right. This is all cut out for a radio. Got the clock. My first 84 didn't even have a clock in it. That's the one my dad bought new. So pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. This has got a whole lot of parts for the 86. I'm going to use that front fender. I'm going to use a core support because my core support is all bent up. But this has got lots of extra parts on there. And uh, funny enough, a Toyota wheelbase and track width is right about the same as an old Scout 800. And Andrew's got that 800 that him and his son are building up. So... That scout might eventually end up on that frame. 
Let's take a look at this other 84. SR5. <laughs> this thing is actually really cool. I mean, it is such an old man looking truck. Straight off the ranch also. Uh, last registered in 2011, but they ran it around the, the property for a while. That door and that hood is off of the other truck. My first truck in high school was an 84 Toyota Extra Cab that my dad had bought brand new from Vallejo, California. So this is kind of sentimental to me and I'll be driving this thing around for a bit. Fires right up, 22R, 5-speed, uh, SR5, and I mean, it's, it's loaded. Got the sunroof, got the <laughs> visor, big old camper shell, running boards, got the 80s grill guard on the front. Just cool. Let's take a look inside. Oh, I remember that sound. There we go. SR5. Got the tack. Oh, let's drop the wheel. Got the tack and all the goodies. All the gauges work. 192,000 miles on there. Got the factory equalizer radio with power antenna. That power antenna does go up and down too. So this whole center console is in good shape. Speaking of center consoles, got a good center console, working latch on this one too. Little storage pocket, SR5 fancy seats. Still has a package tray in the back and the factory jack stuff is all still in there. Everything's there, the factory jacks underneath the uh, package tray. Sunroof, just a crack dash of course. Just a really, really cool old truck. I am digging this thing. And look at this. Besides a little surface rust in the paint, there is no rust on this truck. Not on the frame, not on the body. Body seam, kind of a little common separation right there, but look at this. No rust, none. Check out this side, no rust. Not on the rockers, not in the fenders, nothing. No rust on the bed, no rust behind those gravel guards, nothing, just clean. I haven't seen this SR5 stripe very much. Shoot, still got the little factory gas cap. And I kind of really like it because that camper shell stripe is the same color with the same pinstripes as that SR5 stripe. I don't know. Was that a factory option? Was that just somebody got lucky? What? I don't know, but it's pretty darn cool. Even got the keys for the camper shell, so it locks up. The shocks work. Tailgate works flawless. Just really, really cool. Take a look under the hood. Oh, this thing's even got AC. Factory AC. And aftermarket cruise control. Good old 80s add-on. Yeah, the only thing is when somebody put this hood on, they didn't uh, put it on right and they put it too close to the cowl. So you can see it's dented there and it's been rubbing here. So I gotta adjust the hood back out a little bit. I've got a brand new hood for these anyway, so I might just swap that on. Ah! Twenty-two R carved bone stock. All the vacuum lines, aftermarket cruise control over there, everything. Factory AC. Just a really really cool old truck these old toyotas hold a special place in my heart i did a lot of things in my 84 that i had in, in the 85 grill 
is excellent shape. It's even got the old school stone guards on the headlights. Bumper's in excellent shape. A little bit of a bend on that side, but that's all right. That'll pull out or hardly even noticeable. Anyway, there we have it. So now I got the 86 Forerunner, uh, 84 Extra Cab, and 84 Regular Cab. It's starting to turn into a Toyota parts house at my place, but I'm not complaining one bet. So, anyway, this is going to be uh, a daily driver and parts for the Project Free Runner. Look forward to seeing that thing out on the trail this summer with Andrew. We're going to do the uh, uh, the overnight trail ride with the kids and this is that free runner. This is kind of a, a project We got going we got a budget set of three three thousand dollars Just to show you that you don't have to have the most high-end stuff You don't have to have you know the newest truck or the fanciest truck and things uh, everybody else says is cool And you should have this you should have that you can go out and have fun for a really inexpensive uh, investment You can pick up Jeep Cherokees for a thousand bucks with a four liter and a couple hundred bucks, few hundred bucks, throw a little lift kit on it, some 31s or 32s, and go out and have a blast. Throw a locker in there, you have been at less than 1500 bucks, and just go out and have a blast. You don't have to have all this high-end, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff to go have fun. And this is how you start. You start with some stock stuff, and go out and have fun, and build up, and kind of learn and earn as you go. And it's great time, and it's great fun. That's what I did when I was younger, and here I am, I'm 44 years old now, and I'm right back to where I started because this was the fun stuff. I've built up uh, big full-size blazers. I had a propane injected Scout on 38s. Uh, I got the razors now. All kinds of just fun stuff that I built and built and built. But this, this is the fun stuff that makes me smile. So I'm right back to this. So get out there, get four-wheeling, pick yourself up an inexpensive vehicle to go play with. And remember, the uglier it is, the cheaper it is. Uh, Suzuki uh, Suzuki Sidekick four doors, the Geo Tracker four doors, Jeep Cherokees. Get them with the messed up paint, no, a dented body, whatever. Save some money on it because those drivetrains are awesome. But anyway, get out there and enjoy yourself. Hope to see you out on the trail, and more to come with these Toyotas. God bless you.